In 2017, the estimated number of cancer-related deaths in Australia will reach 40,000, with the projected number of new cancer cases expected to triple. The risk of an Australian being diagnosed with cancer by their 85th birthday is one in two, with many cancers such as ovarian cancer going undetected until the latest stages. In Australia, scientists from the University of Technology, Sydney, are investigating the use of microvesicles and their protein cargo as biomarkers for early screenings of hard-to-diagnose cancers and potentially other diseases. Microvesicles can be found virtually anywhere within bodily fluids, such as blood plasma, urine and inflammatory tissues. They are tiny packages released as a means of communication between cells. Think of them as the equivalent of intercellular text messages. They can be released by a diverse range of prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms. In vivo, once a microvesicle is free from its cell, it is able to travel anywhere throughout the body. The blood in our bodies consists of red and white blood cells, plasma, and a multitude of proteins. Travelling with them are microvesicles, classified as either microparticles or their smaller counterpart, exosomes. Each contain a small assembly of lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. These micro-messengers make their way through the body to engage with other cells and pass on their content. Microvesicles are released by a wide variety of cells in response to the state of the cell environment and exhibit a broad range of functions. This makes each microvesicle unique to the cell they came from, which is why they have so much potential as biomarkers. Let's take a look at two examples. In a healthy body, the mechanism required for microvesicles to deliver cargo is achieved one of two ways. The first is by direct fusion with the host cell membrane, in which a small assembly of proteins facilitate the docking process, eventually pulling the two membranes together and releasing their cargo. The second is by endocytosis, whereby the target cell completely engulfs the microvesicle taking not only the cargo, but the lipid membrane inside its walls. Once the microvesicle has passed on its contents, its job is complete and it becomes infused with the target cell. In cancer, this process is slightly different. Unlike its healthy counterpart, a tumour-derived microvesicle will contain extra messages in the form of sets of proteins and genetic material that specifically promote the tumour microenvironment to support the growth and development of cancerous cells. When a tumour cell origin microvesicle comes in contact with the target cell by either fusion or endocytosis, studies have found that the resulting effect from the bioactive cargo is so strong that the normal target cell physiology becomes disrupted, resulting in cancer. Once developed, the tumour cells can release more microvesicles and begin the cycle once again. By knowing what microvesicles can do within the body, it makes sense that they are becoming a main focus in research. For patients, the identification of specific cancer-related biomarkers from microvesicles and their cargo could lead to life-saving developments in medical science.